Hey guys, so today, um, I already have my eye makeup done, but, um, I wanted to try a few new face products. Um, I'm actually in the middle of this eye tutorial, so if you want to see it, um, go ahead and, you know, like this video or comment or whatever. Um, so I'm going to put on a primer. I already, I didn't moisturize because I already did. I'm just using the St. Ives Renewing Moisturizer with Collagen and Elastin. Just looks like that. Um, my uncle actually gave it to me, blah, blah, blah. So today I'm going to be using this primer for the very first time. It's finally. Um, I've had it for like a month and I have not used it because I haven't really been doing makeup and I was waiting for this video. So this is the Milk Hydro Grip primer this is a 10 milliliter one this is like the travel size one um looks like that i did a haul video on it so we're just gonna take a little bit and i'm just gonna take that much it might have been a little too much but we'll see i'm gonna put some there and then right there like honestly I'm not really sure if you're supposed to put it all over your face but this primer it's supposed to like be tacky and it's supposed to like really grip your makeup um I don't know I don't feel okay it's getting tacky now so I'm just going to let it, I guess you're supposed to let it, a formula, one minute to fully absorb to activate grip for all day hold. So we'll just let that sit for a minute. It is getting tacky, like I can feel it. Hopefully it works for me because um, I have oily skin so especially now that it's summer and it's humid and hot but anyways i'm just gonna go ahead and tell you the um la colors matte liquid foundation is what i'm gonna be using today this is in the color soft beige and if you can tell my face is a lot darker than the rest of my body that is simply because i'm always wearing a t-shirt um i can show you right now um my driving arm like it's two different colors like this is like milky white and then this is like super tan so this is my driving arm this is my regular arm you can definitely see a difference um yeah I don't tan because growing up I didn't have um like when I was with my dad he never enforced like sunscreen so I have like these moles on my legs and my back that I need to get checked but I'm kind of scared now but anyways um we're gonna put it on I think it's been a minute I have some friends um but anyways this is what it looks like it's just like a squeezy tube and that's what that looks like so it's just like a squeezy tube, and as I said, this is a soft, soft beige. So we'll see how that works. I'm just gonna, excuse me, I'm just gonna put it directly onto my skin, like that, and hopefully it's not too too dark. Um, so I'm using a Real Techniques sponge. This is from Christmas one year. Um, they had them on clearance for like a dollar and I really like the um I really liked the neon green um it's actually blending pretty well into my skin I feel like um right now I'm just putting it directly on I'll be getting from this but we'll see 
um, it feels pretty nice. It doesn't feel heavy. Um, I will say it's definitely evening out my skin tone. Um, I'm wondering if because I've been getting a lot more sun lately, unintentionally, if I've uh, gotten a lot darker than soft beige. Like that's the thing about the foundation, like your skin tone changes so much, especially in the summer, like it sucks because you can just buy a foundation and then have to like buy a different color like the following week or whatever depending on um um depending on how much you're in the sun which I'm not in the sun a super amount of time ew but These past, like, the month of June, I, I felt like I was. So, I'm just going to bring a little bit down to my neck. I don't feel like there's a, 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 stark, a stark color difference. So, this seems like it's a very, like, light to medium coverage, if that. Um, I found this at the dollar store, and... I haven't seen it in any of my other dollar stores, so I feel like this is not going to last long because I'm already, like, this is the first time using it and it feels like I've already used so much of it, so I'm not sure if this is honestly worth the dollar. There's like one layer of it. I don't think I'm going to add any more just because feel like I'm losing or I'm using so much I mean that does not look mad to me that seriously like I'm I have a like glow to me like do you see that like I don't I'm not I'm not mad at it I'm not I don't mind it but it's supposed to be a matte a matte foundation and I'm just not seeing how it's back. Now, I don't know if it's because of the primer I used underneath or whatever, but I don't know. It looks nice. Like, it makes my skin look nice, but as you can see, I have some spots still that you can see. So, this is not... I don't really like this, to be honest. And I feel like I have to use a lot, so I definitely would not recommend this. Um, I mean, if you want that look of, like, a tinted moisturizer or, like, a BB cream or something, I'm guessing this will work, so... It's the LA Colors Matte Liquid Foundation and in the color Soft Beige. But as you, like as I said, I felt like I used like half the tube already. And, um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I mean, you only get 0 0.41 fluid ounces, so I mean, you don't really get that much anyway. But I just, I'm not a fan of it. Um, that's my concealer. Um, I'm, today I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild concealer. I know I said I hated it and I did not like it, but I actually started to use it again and I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't hate it. And this is in the color Light Ivory, so I'm just going to put some underneath my eyes and then blend that out. Like it, like the foundation did any coverage underneath my eyes and I have dark circles. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's not, it's not, um, what I, like, I, I don't expect much from, like, a dollar store foundation, but then again, like, other things at the dollar store are super good, you know what I mean? Would I buy it again? No. Would I recommend it? No. But if you're in a pinch looking for like something that's a um, like a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream, that would work. So I'm just going to go in with some powder. This is Warm Light 
This is from Went Wild. This is their Photo Focus Power Powder, which I haven't been able to find. Um, I'm not sure if they're discontinuing it or not, but it's not in the Rite Aid anymore and it's not in Walmart anymore. So I'm kind of upset about that. My skin, I. Yeah, I. Yeah, I don't really like that foundation. No, so this is a, this is definitely a no for me. I'm just going to finish my face and then I'll be right back to show you how it looks with like powder and stuff. Oh, well, um, subtle. Hopefully it's coming off like that on camera. Um, I used the Hard Candy Matte Made in Heaven um, Blush and Bronzer. For the bronzer, obviously, I used the shade right here. And regardless of, like, I don't know, how it looks on camera, I think in real life it looks pretty good. I actually really like it. And then the pink shade, um, I used as blush. I just wanted something subtle just because, like, my eyes are so bold. And I'm probably going to do maybe a bold lip. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, I really like this. I got this at the dollar store. It was probably... Um, probably discontinued, so, yeah, I actually really like this. Um, so, now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna probably going to do a highlight, and I'm probably going to go a little hard on that, because I freaking love highlight, like, that's my favorite part of, um, makeup, to be honest. The Duo Light, um, 9 color palette from B BH Cosmetics. And I'm probably going to go in with um, Double Date, which is this one right here. It's this one right here. And I'm going to go in with the Real Te Technique Setting Brush, but I'm just going to use it as a highlight brush because I really like it like that. Well, I really like it as that. And I got my brush. Oh, that is so pretty. It reminds me of like beachy vibes and I forgot oh look at that that is so gorgeous I am very glowy and I'm not hating it um so ooh, that is so pretty and so blinding um and put it on my nose cause gotta have that nose highlight I know a lot of people don't like it but I really like it and Oh, I gotta go and do my eyebrows because I forgot. So, I did all my like regular face makeup and eyebrows and stuff. Um, so I really I don't like this. Um, I mean the color is good and it blended into my skin, but like I didn't really get that much coverage. Um, as you can see, you can still see my pimple right here which I didn't expect this to be like full coverage but at least like it can be buildable but it just didn't feel like I could build it up so if you have like flawless skin and have like no discoloration no pimples or anything this might work for you um or like I said if you just want something light and um not cakey um because I don't feel like it looks cakey I feel like it looks good um my under eyes are looking rough but whatever um but yeah, I don't, I mean, for a dollar, what do you expect? But yeah, again, it's the LA Colors Matte, Matte Liquid Foundation. So yeah, I'm not a fan of that. So I hope this was helpful. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.